Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter, and today's weather hazard briefing is for Saturday, January 22nd. Looking at another morning of low stratus and fog across the Snake Plain, Eastern Magic Valley, and Teton Valley, and we are going to see some high pressure continuing. So as soon as you head outside of those zones, there uh, should be plenty of sunny skies for you. Some key points we're going to focus on this morning. We do have that fog and low stratus continuing across our lower elevations with some locally dense fog, uh, reducing visibility below a mile in many locations. Uh, high pressure is though in control of the weather pattern right now. We do have that high pressure ridge that's going to be with us for the next couple of weeks. Uh, mostly sunny skies outside of the fog and low clouds, mainly up in our higher elevation zones. Uh, are going to see a chance for some light snow showers, uh, Monday, mainly Monday through Wednesday, uh, primarily in the eastern highlands. And temperatures are going to stay consistently cold through next week with some increasing precipitation chances as we get towards February. Look at your satellite this morning. Not a whole lot to talk about except just that morning fog, especially through the uh, Snake Plain Magic Valley all the way out to the Treasure Valley, uh, starting to creep out towards Boise. Uh, but we just have some mid to upper level clouds as this high pressure ridge is becoming uh, a little bit more intrusive on our area. And we're going to start to see some systems kind of work through uh, further east of our area. So we're going to be on the outer fringes of those, receiving minimal precipitation, but still seeing some increased cloudiness. This is a helpful tool, just kind of looking at where the fog is, so out towards Timberman Hill and River Rim, so uh, out towards the Eastern Magic Valley, very low visibility, and out towards Teton County, again, below, vis below uh, about a quarter mile visibility in many locations, so something to keep an eye on, especially as you're headed out the door today. Here at the airport in Pocatello, we're currently at three quarters of a mile visibility this morning, right around 4.30 a.m., so it's definitely very dense fog out there wherever you're going to be traveling, especially along the I-15, I-86, and I-84 corridors. Look at your weather risk outlook for today. We are looking at some locally dense morning fog, both today and tomorrow, uh, mainly across our lower elevation zones, uh, and maybe down towards that Bear Lake and Preston area as well, down towards the Utah border. So something to keep in mind over the next couple of days. And we are looking at those chance for some light snow showers uh, over the next few days, uh, staying fairly light accumulation-wise, uh, with Monday looking like the, uh, the heaviest day as far as precipitation goes. Here's a look at your temperatures for today. So we're starting off in the single digits to low teens, especially out towards the Central Mountains and the Upper Snake Plain. But as you get further south, we're going to be in the, middle, low, the uh, low 20s for today to start off. But warming up again into the mid-20s to low 30s as you head further south. And for Sunday, much of the same. Uh, we're going to start to see some colder air start to creep down from the mountains as we get some cold air pooling uh, down in the lower elevations. So down towards Bear Lake, Mud Lake, uh, looking at Fairfield. You know, could do have the shop to see some negative uh, temperatures, especially um, in those prone areas for some really well adiabatic cooling. And we're going to be seeing some temperatures at least rise back up into the mid-20s to low 30s. Uh, still a little bit warmer to our further north and west locations. So Central Mountains will be uh, kind of the warm spot over the next few days. And through Monday, much of the same. Uh, we're still looking at some consist consistently cold temperatures in the morning, but things do warm up in the afternoon back into your mid-20s to mid-30s. And taking a look at your snowfall for Monday, not looking like a whole lot of snow. Uh, this is looking at 11 p.m. Sunday through the end of the day, so 24-hour snow. And mainly going to be seeing some snow showers up around Island Park, Henry's Lake, and starting to work their way down into the Tetons as well. And for Tuesday, uh, temperatures again consistently cold in the morning, uh, still single digits out towards INL, Du Bois, Island Park, Ashton, all the way down through Idaho Falls, and here through the Pocatello Burley Corridor, we'll be in the low teens. But later in the afternoon, we should be warming up again, back into the mid 20s to mid 30s. And again on Tuesday, uh, you know, continuing that slight chance for some snow showers. Again, impacts are going to be super minimal on these two couple systems that are going to be coming through, as most of them will be kind of be working through Wyoming and Colorado, uh, just further east of us. So we'll start to see some outer fringes of maybe a few snowflakes here and there for Tuesday, but main accumulations are going to be confined east of us into Wyoming. And for Wednesday, much of the same, uh, continuing with that colder uh, colder air, especially in the morning. But things do warm up fairly nice and seasonable for this time of year in the mid-20s to mid-30s. And kind of taking a look at where we're, look, where we're headed as far as uh, approaching February. So towards the end of this month, so looking at January 27th through the 31st, we are going to start to see some above normal precipitation uh, as predicted right now. So start to see that active weather pattern as we approach February. So kind of keeping an eye on that. And with temperatures staying consistently, you know, pretty cool across our region, it's likely going to be all snow. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that as we get closer to it. 8 to 14 keeps us above normal for precipitation as we head into February. And with temperatures staying below normal, that was going to be increasing our chances for some widespread snow. I'll be kind of keeping an eye on that as we head into next month. 
In summary today, we do have that fog and low stratus continuing across many of our lower elevation zones, uh, reductions in visibility, and some possible slippery road conditions out there associated with some light precipitation falling from those lower clouds. Due to high pressure in control, mostly sunny skies are expected outside of the fog and low clouds, so head higher up in the uh, elevation and you should start to see the sun again. A uh, chance for some light snow showers mainly Monday through Wednesday in the eastern highlands, and temperatures staying consistently cold through at least next week. And that wraps up your weather briefing for today, Saturday, January 22nd. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have a wonderful weekend.